Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, this is John Santini, CH Mulchett, signing back in, and uh, and this time we're gonna be taking a look at the Kurgan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Mammy of Kurgan. guys, please. Um, yeah, a very special map <laughs> because it's it's a map where you can really, really, really uh, get stuck, and you can really, really, um, you know, get fucked up you know sincerely fucked up um i would have done a tactical map on this but uh, i don't think actually it's necessary because it is so bloody simple there is not much to talk about uh you know about the kirken but um the only thing there is to talk about is getting um good artillery marks uh, straight in the middle of the cap zones or the back of the cap zones um, where the squad leaders play are, uh, you know, a vital part in, uh, in getting those artillery marks. Uh, you see me getting that artillery mark and actually getting lots of kills on it right now. Uh, straight in the middle and uh, and the Kirken is about the flanks. So if you can get those flanks the going, uh, the right flank, on. the left flank, uh, then it's, uh, you know, then it's actually no problem. But if, if you have people lying down, uh, taking pop shots uh, at the defenders, um, Come on guys, pilot, trying to dig in and, guys, pilot, uh, and really just try and shoot it out with the defenders, you know, it's gonna end wrong. It simply is gonna end wrong. What you need is people to move forward, people to get in cap zones, uh, lots of smoke, aggressive gameplay, basically. Um, you really need to get the, your ass on in gear. Uh, what you're seeing here in the background playing is an attack uh, on TWB server last stand. Uh, I can't remember the campaign, uh, uh, the campaign um, boom, boom, boom. situation at Good that point, Marcus, but uh, it's uh, me two. and the Russian resistance and some guys from uh, the Secret Army, Churchill's yeah, Secret Army. Uh, you're going to be hearing the background and, uh, on, guys, and you're going to be seeing momentum. us uh, trying to attack. And what you saw there was us actually being able to put artillery in the middle of A and getting the flanks um, and then moving forward. It is the most important thing, guys, on this map to get the momentum going. Uh, because you're gonna get stuck, really, you're gonna get stuck. You need to get people in the capsule. It's actually, it's so simple on this map. Because you have these trenches, as you see, uh, people moving in right now. Um, and those uh, trenches are, you know, it is an excellent opportunity um, to get stuck in, to get... Um, yeah, to get the, to get the, uh, you know, to get into cover and get the battle moving. One of the biggest mistakes I, I see is, uh, of course, people flanking far right and then not moving back into the cap zone. It's so important, guys. When you flank right, okay, flank right, left side. It's it's okay. It's it's what you need to be doing. But then you need to move into the cap. Zone. So you see me here moving up and and getting those uh, grenades flying, uh, smoke grenades flying, and actually covering it up because we can move into the trenches uh, at the sides of B and right here you see us uh, getting into those sides of B you see it's wide open and uh, now I'm going to be starting to clear out B from the back all the Germans attention is uh, is at the front and here you see me a sexy comrade and a German uh, and I try to stand up and, and save a sexy comrade but uh, but no yeah, yeah, I saved him I didn't kill him um, so I did my <laughs> I actually managed to save him but here you see me, um, yeah, getting the killing on and uh, and actually trying to hold this part of the trench um, to get us uh, get our guys a chance to move in. And uh, here you see my arch nemesis, Hans Story and the Viking Division. He always seems to get the, get the drop on me. I don't know if uh, I'm too old, too slow, uh, too stupid. But um, but yeah, he gets uh, he gets me every fucking time. So uh, yeah, fuck that guy. But um, uh, B is actually um, it's not that of difficult of a map. Uh, you see us uh, getting in here, Cadney. You saw there there was uh, some guys asked for artillery, and about this point there probably about a minute yeah, to artillery, a, you know, so I could drop I'm just artillery. In mood. I spent the entire day <laughs> and B way, is so uh, is gonna be leading us up to a very exciting point, so uh, can, the big bunker in the it. middle, which is. Uh, which is the sea cap um, you see here on the map people are actually moving fairly quickly fairly aggressively up the flanks and and, and getting that beat on the enemy and um, 
and getting them off uh, off balance. If you can get into the trenches like that, it's man versus man. It's a it's it's a it's a it's a good situation for the for the attackers. Uh, you don't want to be uh, getting that uh, standoff uh, fight off just like the um, just like uh, you saw. Uh, you 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 probably seen a loads of time where people just lie down in, in front of A and, and try and shoot it out. It's not gonna be good successful. Guys, right here you see us moving on to the big uh, knot. If you get this one, if you get the C cap, the, uh, the big bunkers, then you pretty much the got it. Um, what is C is cap C cap is? It's two giant bunkers as you're gonna be seeing right here. Um, it's two giant bunkers. Um, and yeah, the biggest mistake people water. make on guys, this, uh, this exact uh, point is that they try and run up and clear out the bunkers. You can actually cap the bunkers from uh, from down in front um, where it's no problem to occupy and uh, those trenches in front of the bunker you can actually power cap it uh, from beneath uh, the defenders. Uh, you see me here dropping artillery on the back side oh, and then I'm going to be moving up. You see on the map uh, the Germans uh, one of the biggest mistake defenders are making on this map is that they're not falling back into the cap zones and this is the same mistake the attackers are going to be making if you do not get into the cap zone you're not worth a shit i don't care if you kill 10 germans or 10 russians if you're not in the cap zone you're not making any sense uh, of course if you're if you're the marksman the sniper it's a different matter but if you're a submachine gunner or something like that it, it makes no sense um, not uh, providing because uh, in this game it's all about which team has the most guys in the cap zone so if the, if the Germans have 10 guys and we and the 20 guys and we only have 10 guys 10 guys seems like a lot but then they are gonna cap it beneath us and, uh, oh, and, uh, and they're just totally gonna park up. I've seen Let's it so up. many times of this map uh, where one team especially uh, yeah yeah uh, where we have been defending and both as the attacking team actually just power kept it beneath us and um, yeah it's a horrible situation and right here you see us trying to get into that trench and uh, I deploy the smoke grenades and I get the uh, and I get shot um, so <laughs> Roach Roach gets in Roach get into the um, get it into the um, cap zone and I'm, I'm gonna be moving up again I have those two smoke grenades so if I die it actually doesn't matter that much because I can redeploy smoke grenades uh, an important role for the commander to keep those smoke grenades um, to oh keep guys, those smoke grenades flying so you objective, see me guys. here we moving up on the, the other flank the and the trying to get in and I get shot again but it uh, it really doesn't matter because uh, because we got the momentum um, so so we, the momentum is going we're getting up on the flanks as you see here um, uh, with the bunker and um, and again guys um, it, it's important to get in kind of now you see the Germans uh, dropping artillery on us so it's it's kind of important that that you get in the it's not the best artillery on the German team it's a big buff far forward if they put it further to the back um, they were uh, further in the cap zone they would have done a lot more damage but here you see us actually moving in um, getting a uh, getting good uh, effective fire on target as you see there on the map people are flanking sure. all the way around guys, so just to gain the trench, you do not need uh, yeah to clear this the map bunker, can go guys, so horribly wrong don't uh, clear if the people bunker, are not just effective and stand by to um, so right here on, I'm, I'm gonna try and make uh, some sort of difference uh, really to get uh, that's the one thing you can do if, if you, you don't have people not enough people in the capsule you see we do not have enough people in the capsule so I'm gonna be trying uh, of get people some cover by deploying the smoke grenades in front of the bunker so they can't shoot out. Um, so uh, it's in, in the best uh, you know cover possible. And I'm, I'm shouting at people to get in the caps, Guys, but it's, it's not trench. working. So Come I'm on. gonna try and, and, and do some drastic measures, so getting uh, uh, getting uh, some uh, hand grenades uh, in uh, and, uh, uh, and and yeah trying to get that show on the road and, and here you actually see I, I might have been able to storm the bunker actually here but I choose to uh, to put in uh, to put in a, yeah, <laughs> a satchel side instead side. I don't know that's stupid but it's just me trying to to clear out kind of the uh, to clear it out so we can get an advantage going because it doesn't look that good right now so um, so sometimes it, it demands a drastic measures uh, to try and get the team oh, in 
and actually here we, we start the cap um, I don't actually don't know if I get any kills oh I got a friendly kills with that satchel so um, yeah that would be uh, <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of stupid, guys. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I advise myself. I do not follow my own advice. Uh, getting into trenches, but um, but yeah, we are getting in and we are getting the and good. And of course, uh, people just run up and the good shut cap up going, the and, uh, and and we actually managed to. You look at this. We actually managed to clear it. So now we're getting to the back bunker. So what you need to do as soon as you cap these ones, you need to spread out. That is the most important thing because what is the most obvious artillery target in human history? That is that uh, C cap zone in front of that C cap zone because everybody is gonna be, you know, uh, coming out of those cap zones and uh, try and get in there and, and get something on the road and uh, just a bit of clear action here. So, um, so, so, what is the most obvious thing to do? That is to get. Spread your men out. I yeah, usually I get one squad. Guys, first up. squad is obvious the biggest. So first squad on one flank, second squad on the other, and the rest of the squads kind of spread out. So um, so you can get the uh, the maximum the maximum effort going uh, on both um, on both uh, on both flanks to kind of get it in. Right here, you see me actually waiting for the artillery, and 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 one of the mistakes that Germans make in here is that they do not fall back quick enough um, simply because uh, yeah there's your guy with a suicide satchel <laughs> that's a nice tactic just run up Watch and throw out some satchel on the right side. Uh, but German the German team does satchel. not fall back fast enough so they can uh, set up their defensive yeah. that is one, one of the important things guys as defending team that is to fall back rather quickly to get uh, to get those defensive marks up and uh, yeah and save the tickets because they need to drain us they need to drain us right now and there you see guys the artillery i talked about uh, the obvious it's you always know, guys it's clear as daylight they will always drop that artillery on the front of sea so now that we know and and and, and we're sure that that they're gonna be dropping that artillery guys we do not get out the front door of that bunker because it's it's an elevated position it's uh, it's on okay, high ground and it's mind. a slaughter fest um, so uh, so let's see if, if we can move up here and uh, and get some effect on it um, the artillery is apparently over and my artillery is dropping in on the back and you see there's still Germans falling back and uh, and I dropped that artillery at the back end of uh, of, the, of their of the this is an important advice guys to commanders and squad leaders on this always drop the artillery on the back part of the cap zone do not drop it where they are uh, where they are right now but where the spawn waves because if you just can delay one spawn wave on this it's perfect so you see me dropping back there and uh, it's uh, it's killing off on, guys, their spawn the waves zone. and their men have to expose themselves um, to our fire to get the to get up there and then um, it's perfect it's a perfect situation for the attacking team if you can get that artillery going sorry and they're not they're counter artillerying us the way they should so so we have an excellent opportunity here i go right up the middle and uh, and i smoke you see i do not run out the front door i run out the side door but still i get there uh, i actually get killed by a friendly but now you see these two uh, cap zones your spawn zones actually both on the flanks so I would always advise at getting those flanks going it's much diff much more much 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 more difficult for the defending team to uh, to cope with with pressure on both flanks um, then rather than a push straight up the middle of course the bomb rush is always an, an, uh, an option if you can get your men straight up in the middle by all means but usually uh, they just it's just gonna get a, be a slaughter fest so so that is why I recommend those flanks to get those flanks going uh, and that's just uh, you know that's an important important thing to get them them rolling and you see us here uh, moving up and we actually cap it before I get to it and 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 <laughs> yeah you see me dying uh, and, and guys again if you're not especially squad leaders need to stay alive but if you can command and have those double smoke grenades it's so important that you use them so uh, when you have used your artillery kind of get up the expose yourself get those smoke grenades going um, it's uh, it's 
it's it's such an important function that that you keep on that you keep on getting those smoke grenades up. But right now I have it, we are not that close in tickets, um, so so uh, it's 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 very unusual that a team is going to be able to defend at this point. So you see this flank I'm moving up. You see it on the map. Otherwise, uh, rewind the retape and and post it at the map. Uh, the defenses, um, they're not, uh, you know, they're not even covering this flank. So you're gonna be seeing me now doing some douchebaggery, uh, oh guys, you're <laughs> going in behind line. into those trenches and and clearing it, pushing in as far and uh, as as heavily I, as I can uh, kind of do it. And you're gonna be seeing a a bit of a fun moment. Uh, I think it's uh, it's 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 soon to be coming up. Where actually you see me, I'm on the back side, and here you see it, guys. I'm actually that far back that I'm gonna be passing straight into their spawn. Look at that. <laughs> That's the front spawn, or perhaps there was a squad leader, but these four or five guys there, they spawn straight in front of me. And uh, and yeah, oh my so God. of course I engage them. And uh, and you see me, uh, there's still guys coming up, and I can kind of be a douchebag, and I can be kind of effective uh, right here because I can get there. Uh, I can get the, all those guys moving up, and is that the, is that a, is that douchebag? Yeah, it's it's not it's not a fair move to do, but uh, you know, it, I, I think if the games allow you to move in like this and get in behind the cap zone, uh, not in behind, but on the edge of the cap zone, you should be able Jeez, to do it, and then you should do it. I, I don't see any problem in uh, putting artillery on spawn zones if you're skilled enough, uh, so that you with your binoculars can get uh, so that you can get marks on on on, on the spawn zone. Do it. Yeah, so guys, I sincerely hope uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, and perhaps learned something. And uh, if you if you had some fun and uh, all of that, join us on the TGLB server last stand. And of course, if you like this, guys, on, please guys. Uh, come rate and subscribe. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, John Anthony CH Melchis signing back out. Bye bye. Nice flip.